So this is our completed seat. Hi, I'm Andrew, the guy that puts the videos together. Quick note before we get started, the first three minutes of this video comes from a product preview we did in 2021. So if you keep watching till the end, you'll see that we changed the design. We make it so the switch for the power seat can be put anywhere you like. All right. Well, the design on the seat started out as a mid-year that we're building. And we wanted to do something different. And we're building the humps on the back of the deck, so this is kind of still in the early stages. The molds are built took six molds to make this seat. There's three pieces to the seat, and each piece has an inner and an outer. This is our back, rigid cover that is fiberglass, and it mirrors the inside of the seat. You'll see the concept of this. This is the foam pack. This is, we're gonna make a mold of this eventually, but for now, in the meantime, you take the insert, which fits the seat, And we're just trying to mirror our seat here, but we want the foam to come out more. Open up your deck there a little bit. And, and so we're trying to make access to get inside the car. So we're not making the seat gigantic. The foam pack, the foam we can make bigger. You trimmer guys, you know how to do that. I've watched you. And so we're trying to keep it simple. A rigid back that you can glue your foam into on the back and also on the bottom. It mirrors the inside of it. So now you come inside of here with your Velcro and you Velcro in your pieces. Design your foam how you want it. And this seat is made for our deck. You can go ahead and close that deck down. And so, bring the foam out more, build some bolsters. You gotta use your own imagination. Everybody's got different thoughts, desires. The back of the seat started off with, from a C5. We cut it down, we finished it all in. If you ever tore a C5 seat apart, which I'm sure we can find a picture of around here or, or apart, we can take a quick picture of it and show what a C5 back looks like. Mm -hmm. And then we built the bottom from scratch. The way we built this is there's an electric seat track that we put inside of there, and all that seat track does is forwards and backwards. It comes from the Mustang world. It's a Mustang seat track from a first-gen Mustang, which is pretty cool these guys make. And we've also used this seat uh, so far in a 69 that we were building that had a C5 uh, suspension set up in it with the transmission in the rear end and the back. So we were real tight in the back for space. We only had about 15 inches at the rear of the seat to put the seat in that car. And we designed part of this around that problem we had, but then to fit it inside of a, a C2 fits really nice. And so then you have to do your foam and whoever's gonna do your poster has to build the foam, which the foam can come out to the shape of the seat. You build your bolsters in it. You make the seat the way you want it to look. And so that's what it went into a 69. The bolsters, the seat, the foam could be a bigger foam pack. That, that's up to you how you want to design it. Right now, this seat is made in fiberglass. It is designed to do in carbon fiber. If you want to do carbon fiber, that'll be your call. But this is the early stages of this. And as we uh, move on with the project, we'll show you more stages down the road. Thanks for watching. In this bottom of the seat, you'll see where there's added holes. And so in this plate of the seat, this is our base. Our base is the anchoring parts. So you're gonna have two bolts on either side to anchor it, but we have different positions. So you can move the bottom of the seat on the seat base. So you have a nice heavy duty power seat track. This seat track's gonna take you front to rear. That's all that seat track does. And in here is your power switch. The bottom base is made so you can put your power seat switch here, okay? We're not installing the seat switch for the simple reason if you've got a different idea. But if you come over here and you'll see where that seat switch is gonna go, that's gonna be right at the front of the seat. So if you want it there, that's fine. But if you're doing something like with an infinity box and you're gonna have it on your screen, you don't even need the switch. 
it'll be wired into that. Or if you want to take this switch and put it down here, over here, remount it, we're not mounting the switch. You're going to have the two harnesses that work with the switch, some solderless connectors, and then you're going to have these four bolts with a short head on them for the seat bottom, for the seat track. The seat track's going to be bolted to your seat. And these are your bolts that come through. You can see it has a real short head with an Allen slot in it. So that seat track can move back and forth. So you can have some pretty good movement in this seat track. Seat base, seat bottom, seat back. And these you don't really do anything to them, but it's your inserts for your foam. Foam gets glued to those. So other than that, thanks for watching.